Hi everybody, it's that time again, it's time for Phonics with me. Do you remember my name? It is Mrs. D.O.G. Okay, did you look after those Phonics hats? Have you given it a little wash over the weekend? Because we do use it a lot. Let's see, take them out, put them on, switch them on, off we go. Phonics, Phonics all around. For nicks all around, for nicks, for nicks all around, for nicks all around. Okay, just make sure they're on properly. Just make sure they're working. You're going to need it for today. Okay, so in our phonics lesson today, we are not going to be learning a new sound. We are going to be learning something called a tricky word. Let me tell you what a tricky word is, because I heard some of you saying, what's a tricky word? I don't know what that is. A tricky word is a word that you must not sound out because you can't sound it out. And if you did, it would sound very odd, very funny. So you must use your eyes to say each letter and use your eyes just to learn how to read it. Because in the English language, unfortunately, it's a very complicated language, as we all know. There are some words you can sound out, but there are some words that you cannot sound out and you just have to learn how to read them. A bit how I learned how to read when I was young. So, today's tricky word is with my friend Mr. Wizard, so let's wake him up to find out what it is. Off we go. Wake up, Mr. Wizard. Wake up, Mr. Wizard. What are we learning today? What are we learning today? Keep singing. Wake up, Mr. Wizard. Wake up, Mr. Wizard. What are we learning today? What are we learning today? Shall we say hello to Mr. Wizard? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. He says he's been so excited for phonics this week because he knew I was going to teach you a tricky word and you couldn't wait to wake up today. Yes, he says, tricky words are different to normal sounds. He said, did I explain it to you? Yes, I did, Mr. Wizard. Don't you worry. Yes, go and get your bag, Mr. Wizard. How exciting. It's their first tricky word. Isn't that exciting, Mr. Wizard? Okay, oh, it's a big word today. It won't even fit in your bag. Here we go. Do you want to take it out? Yeah. Oh, this is our new tricky word. Do you think any of them might know what it says? Have a look at our new tricky word. Do you think you might know what it says? Let's have a little think. If not, don't worry. Shall we tell them, Mr. Wizard? Okay, you use your hat. So, there are the letters T, H, E. And it spells the tricky word, the. Can you say that? Can you go and say it to the nice sun outside, if you have any sun outside? The. Can you run and say it to your favourite shoes? Off you go. Run and go and say the. Can you run and go and say it to your bedroom? Off you go. Run and say your new tricky word, the. Lovely, let's remember the word, the letters in it. It is T H E spells the. Yes, good idea. He's just said to me, Shall I tell them what it would sound like if I sounded it out? And then you'll understand why you must not sound out a tricky word. So if I sounded it out, it would sound like this. T H E T E. Have you ever heard that word before? No, 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 no. It sounds very funny. That's why you must say the letter names and then it will help you to read the tricky word. T-H-E spells the. 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Wizard. You have a little rest there. You've done lots of work already this morning. So our tricky word is, tell me again, the, well done. Now the next video I'm going to show you is by Epic Phonics and it's a lovely tricky word song that's going to get stuck in your head again parents but children love it, children in my class sing it, love it, helps them learn those tricky words. Here it is. Tricky words, these are tricky, 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 tricky words that you can learn, learn, learn these tricky words. Don't let them trick you, they are just tricky words. Don't let them trick you. Say hello to I, hello I, 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 I. Sing with me, I, 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 I. I is just a capital E. Don't let it trick you. Say hello to the, hello the. The, 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 the Sing with me The, 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 the T-H-E spells the Don't let it trick you Say hello to two Hello to Two, 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 two. Sing with me Two, 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 two T and O spells two Don't let it trick you Say hello to go Hello go Go, 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 go Go, 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 go G and O spells go Don't let it trick you Say hello to no Hello no No, 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 no Sing with me No, 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 no N and O spells no Don't let it trick you Say hello to he Hello he He, 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 he Sing with me He, he Okay, let's talk about my favourite gross motor. Okay, now remember, parents, teachers, children, you should all know this by now. If you work all of this part of your body, arms, shoulders, ribs, get that all moving, it will help you to do what? Learn to write. That's the aim of this. So, I have found something, children, you might even already know this one because it's very popular on YouTube already. It's called Kids Bop. Have you heard of it? I'm sure you have. Now, parents, if you're like, who's Kids Bop? What is that? It is a group of children that sing popular um pop songs that you might hear on the radio but it's not the adults or the original people singing it's a group of children singing it but what is great about it as well they also are dancing to it and the dance moves are really simple for the children to copy but boy, it's great they're going to be having fun dancing but parents they don't know that they're building all of this to help them do this. So children, show your adults your best dance moves. For our fine motor activity today, I've got a new friend joining us with some nice long hair and you will need some scissors. Now, you know you I always tell you about Instagram. Teachers, if you are a teacher and you are getting bored of using the same old fire motor activities, I cannot recommend 
enough to get onto Instagram because there are so many imaginative ideas on there that will really enhance your teaching and children will absolutely love it. And here we go. I have found a simple scissor activity, but how fun does this look for a child? They'll absolutely love this. So this account, and I'm fingers crossed, I hope I pronounced it correctly, Edelin's Hearts and Crafts. Okay, that's the account. Check it out. The link will be on my account and on my Facebook. So definitely check them out. Look at this imaginative idea that will get your children building those fine motor muscles. So, parents. I know in my class when some parents see scissors, they freak out. But you need to remember they will need to learn scissors at one point of their life and this is the best time to do it because it will help them build those muscles to remember learn to write so all you need to do is just be quiet and explain to them about the safety of scissors so all of this no 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 we must not use scissors like this if they are holding scissors they must hold them like this. That is how to be safe with scissors. So, teaching them scissors, get your daddy finger children, put that in the first hole. Get your mummy finger, your brother finger, put it in the second hole. Now these are children's fist scissors and my fingers are a bit of a tight squeeze in there. But that is how you teach them how to use scissors. And off they go. So the task today is your friend has got some long hair. She needs to get it cut. Can you help her? And off they go. They are going to be chopping and having fun being a hairdresser. But... At the same time, they don't realise that they are building those finger muscles. For our letter formation activity, I found this on Instagram under the account Creative Mummy Stuff. As she's got some super activities that I will share the link of her account on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. So check her out. In this activity, Please, can you get your child to write today's tricky word with the letters T H E? And please try and get them to write it in their big letters. Now, their writing may not look like mine yet, but don't worry, all the power writing practice they are getting is great. So just let them have a try. Then, what I would like you to do next, children, parents, let's do some recycling. Now, these are the pieces of paper from our bimotor activity. Then, what they will need to do is get those scissors again. We'll get a bit of fine motor and letter formation in this activity. Get them to chop it into smaller pieces because what they will do is they will glue the pieces onto their letters. What a fun and engaging activity which will be working those fine motor and get them practicing those letters. Enjoy! For today's tricky word activity I have got some very exciting tricky word eggs and this activity was found under the Instagram account Mummy Millington. I will put a link to her account on my page so you can check her out for some more fun exciting games. So for this activity you will need to obviously draw some dinosaur eggs out. Uh, if your child is very good at scissors you can get them to cut out the zigzags and the dinosaur eggs but I would recommend for all the children to do the letter writing bit because the more practice they get in to write the letters the better their handwriting will become. So children you write the letters and if you're good at scissors help your adult to cut it out too. But the aim of this game is to figure out how to spell that tricky word. So, do you remember that tricky word we're trying to spell, children? It is the. Now, use your phonics brain. Which letter comes first? You need to reorganise it. Your brain should be telling you it is 
T. What's the next letter your brain is telling you? You should be thinking it is H. And then your brain should be telling you the next letter in the tricky word, the, is E. And that is our game. And I've done the same sort of thing with the egg, but I've reorganised the letters in a different way. And off you go. Your brain should be telling you it is T and then a H and then an E spells the. Have fun. For our reading activity today, we are going to be using the resource Oxford Owl. Now, I have put a post on my Facebook page about how to get onto this website a few weeks ago. But if you don't remember it, don't worry. The next video will show you how to get back on there. If you like, what is Oxford Owl? Teachers, if you don't know about this, get onto this. Oxford Out is a free resource and it has got loads of ebooks and it's fantastic to use at the end of the day during story time or if your children are going a bit crazy and you need to calm them down, use it then. The same parents, you can use it at home. Again, if you want to do some story time at home or if you need to calm your children down, there is a big range of books on there. And this is what we're going to use today to help us learn to read children so this is what we're going to do i will show you in the next video how to get onto a specific book because we will need to be looking for today's tricky word which is tell me tell me the how do i spell it tell me the letters t h e yes well done so Parents, obviously your children can't read fluently yet, but that doesn't mean they can't help you to read. So when you are reading parents and you spot a phoneme sound that we have been learning already, you don't say it, get your child to point using their reading finger and get them to say the phoneme. That will be the beginnings of reading. So children, can't get mummy or daddy or whoever is at home to do all the reading you need to help too that's how we learn to read so parents when you are reading and you say a tricky word children it's your job to be listening carefully if you hear your adult say this tricky word you need to shout out stop and then you need to get your reading eyes and you need to look at where your adult was reading, get your reading finger and point to where you see the tricky word, the. Do you think you can do it? I'm sure you can. Enjoy starting to learn to read children. Okay, this is how you get onto Oxford Owl, where the free ebooks are the super duper resource for teachers and for parents. You'll love this one. So go ahead and type in Oxford Owl into Google and then click on the first link. Then what you will need to do is you will need to register and it's all free. So you just have to put your details in, your username and an email and a password. And then you will have free access to all their resources. They don't just do um, ebooks. They do loads of other things on there. They do activities and they give you information. So just have a look. But first of all, you will need to register. I have already registered, so I'm going to log in for Oxford Owl for home. Enter the site and then in we go. Then you need to click on Browse eBooks and then scroll down again. Browse the eBook library. Okay, now we were looking for an ebook that had the tricky word the. So you will need to go into the search box and type in the. And then click go. And then it will bring all the books up that have that tricky word in it. Now the book I would like you to look at today is this one, The Dragon Balloon. So click on it, click read ebook 
and then in we go here we go if you look on the bottom right there is arrows and you can flick through the pages and then you can read the ebook so here it is a parent you will be reading it but your child will be spotting the tricky word so every time they hear the tricky word the they need to shout stop the next part of our session is the extension task now parents only push your children to do this bit if they are confident at writing simple words such as cat bus dog bed something simple like that so for example they if you said the word cat to them they would think in their head oh it's got the phone cat, and they would be able to write it if they are at that level then push them to do this next bit which is to write a sentence so children if your brains are ready switch your ears on this is how we write a sentence now parents the best way to introduce a sentence is by doing it in this four different steps and I've always done this in my class and once you keep repeating it it will slowly feed into their brains and they will, they will remember so the first step is to think of your sentence so today we will need to think of a sentence with this tricky word in it what's that tricky word tell everybody the now to help you i have thought of the sentence already so the next step you will need to do in a sentence is you will need to say the sentence you must practice saying the sentence children because if you don't you won't remember what to write and then that's a bit of a problem isn't it so say the sentence which is today the red bus can you remember that say it to the windows the red bus say it to the ceiling the red bus say it to the door the red bus say it to the floor the red bus can you say it to your adult without them helping off you go there's three words fantastic okay the next step you will need to do is write the sentence that's what we need to do so hopefully it's in your brains now children and now you need to get your pens ready so here we go there are some special rules when you write a sentence children there is a special rule at the start of a sentence which is to use something called a capital letter which is a big letter so our first word was the so we'll need a big t to start with so the letters in the was do you remember t and then a h and then a e but because we started with the capital t and then a h and then a e there's our first word what's the second one do you remember what it is the red that's right now there's a second special rule that you must do in the sentence in between each word you must use something called a finger space because if you didn't use finger spaces in between the words all the words will join together and then it will just be all mixed and muddled up and no one will be able to read your sentence do you want that to happen no 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 so you must use something called a finger space let's see the second word red what phonemes can you hear before you write anything you must hear them red 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 so get that finger out and off you go then eh and then d then you take your finger off and then you can see your sentence help me read it to help us figure out the last word the red what's the next word the red bus that's the next word now before you write it figure out what phonemes are in it bus bus 
b bus b us b us b a b b us b us lovely so remember the rule you must put a finger space before you write the next word to stop it getting muddled up so finger space and then your next word but ah then you take your finger off okay now one last step that you must do is check your sentence so you must check it before you do one more thing check it the red red but us bus does it sound like the sentence we started with yes it does there's one last rule that you must do when you finish a sentence you must put something called a full stop and it tells everybody the sentence has finished. So, the red bus, you don't do a big full stop like that. That's just because it's a poster. You do a small one and then everybody will know your sentence is done and finished. And there you go. You have written your first sentence. If you have had a try at that, give yourself a thumbs up. Who's proud of you? I am. We have come a long way already, haven't we? Fantastic. Now, children, teachers, parents, it is the end of our first tricky word lesson. Did you have fun learning about tricky words? I'm sure you did. Let's say goodbye to my little friend who loves phonics so much. Yes, he says he cannot wait to learn the next tricky word because there's loads to learn, isn't there? Good idea. Mr. Wizard has said, when you're reading your storybooks this week, children, if you come across the tricky word, do you remember what it is? Do you think they remember? I'm sure they are. If you come across this tricky word, what is it? Tell Mr. Wizard. The, if you come across it, don't forget to shout stop and try and read it on your own. Do you think you can do that? I think they can. Right, that's the end now. Shall we take our hats out, switch them off and then put them in your pocket ready for some more fun next week. Bye.